Hello, today I will show you how to use multimeter. There are two types of multitester in electronics repair. Analog and digital. There are four quadrants you must remember. DC or direct current. AC or alternating current. Current. Ohms. Caution must be observed when using multimeter. Before using your tester you must familiarize. The proper settings of selector switch. Improper settings of selector switch can damage your tester or can possibly hurt you, so be careful. When testing electrical voltage always start settings from higher. Settings then slowly set to correct settings to avoid damage. Or when testing continuity select our X1 and calibrate first ohms adjusts to zero ohms. If buzzer is available select buzzer settings for continuity. Now let's start an actual testing using analog multimeter. We have here a battery 1.5 volts. We will check the voltage of this battery if fully charged or drained. First, turn your selector pointer to DC quadrant settings at 2.5 volts or 10 volts. Now we select 2.5 volts DC settings. Now let us test the battery, observe correct polarity. Red probe is to positive and black to negative. You see the pointer landed in 150 of meter scale. The computation is like this, the full scale is 250 volts. And our voltage setting is to 0.5 volts. So we divide 250 to 100 to get this to 0.5 volt settings. The battery reads 150, so we divide 150 by 100 to get a result of 1.5 volts DC so this battery is still fully charged. Now we try this digital tester and we'll see the difference. First we select DC quadrant to 2 volts knowing that we only test 1.5 volts if happened that you don't know the voltage you want to test. Always select the highest range then slowly select to lowest range one by one. Now we see the meter reads 1.49 to volt it means the battery is good. Until you get exact reading. Now we have here a 9 volts battery. We select a 10 volts in DC quadrant. Knowing that only 9 volts battery we need to test. Now we observe in the 10 volt scale where the pointer will land it. Now the pointer landed in 9.5 volts meaning this battery is still good. Now we test again using digital tester. Select to 20 volts range. Reading is 9.64 volts. So this battery is still good. Warning. Observe proper precaution. Now we proceed to AC quadrant of a tester. We will test AC voltage from main line so we must. Observe extra caution specially in AC voltage testing. Now we test the output voltage of this automatic voltage regulator. We proceed in testing AC voltage from automatic voltage regulator. This is an automatic voltage regulator with 3 kVA. Output voltage is 220 volts AC and 110 volts AC. 
Now we will check this AC voltage using AC voltmeter. Now we will test AC voltage here. First change the selector settings to AC quadrant. Select 250 volts AC or 1000 volts AC. Test probe has no polarity when testing AC voltage. Now we will test the 110 volts outlet. Reading is 115 volts AC. Now we will test this 220 volts outlet. You see the pointer landed in 230 to volts AC. Now we use this digital tester. We can see that this quadrant is for DC and AC at the same time. There is red label of 750 volts AC maximum voltage. Then push this small button to switch to AC mode. Take note that this probe has no polarity when testing AC voltage. You see that meter reading is playing from 111 volts to 110 volts AC. Now we check this outlet. Reading is 225 volts AC. Maybe you ask why reading from analog tester is different from digital tester. The reason why digital is more accurate than analog because of the impedance input of digital is higher than analog. Digital has a 1 mega ohms up to 10 mega ohms input resistance while analog has only 20,000 ohms per volt in DC range. While 9,000 ohms per volt in AC range. Ideas and tips. In choosing what type of multi-tester you have to use, I suggest you buy both of them. But it depends on your budget. Quality tester or inexpensive one. If you are an experienced technician repairman, inexpensive tester is right for you for analog tester only. Combined with a little bit good quality digital tester is fine. In some cases analog tester is convenient to use than digital. But if you want more accurate results, digital is recommended. Especially when sensitive circuits is to be tested for precise voltage. Now we proceed to own meter. Let's start from low resistance resistor. First set use selector switch to ohm meter quadrant. Rotate to RX1. Short the test probe by ohms adjuster potentiometer. After adjust to 0 ohms you can start the testing.
please like, share, and subscribe.